Today, we will be learning about context clues and their role in understanding unknown words. We'll explore the five different types of context clues and examine examples of each. Let's begin. Have you ever read a text and stumbled across a word you did not recognize? How'd you handle it? Did you skip over it or did you try to glean the definition of the word? Context clues are hints that the author gives to help define a difficult or an unusual word. The clue may appear within the same sentence as the word to which it refers, or it may follow in a preceding sentence. It's important to utilize context clues as a reader because dictionaries are not always readily accessible. Using context clues also help a reader to internalize or own a word. There are at least five different types of context clues. They are logic or general, examples, antonyms, definitions, and synonyms. These context clues are used by writers of textbooks and other written materials. As a reader learns to look for these clues, they can access more text. With logic or general clues, the meaning is derived from the experience and background knowledge of the reader, common sense, and logic. Signals for logic context clues are sometimes difficult to spot. A reader needs to look for information that is familiar within the passage or sentence. Let's look at an example of a logic context clue. Because he ate candy morning, noon, and night, it was inevitable that he would have a lot of cavities in his teeth. It would take the reader's background experience to know eating candy morning, noon, and night would be bad for your teeth. A reader would realize that a person who indulges in eating candy that often is certain to get cavities. It was bound to happen. By using the process, the reader has discovered the definition of inevitable, an event that's certain or bound to happen. An example context clue occurs when authors use an example or illustration to understand the unknown word. The following signal words indicate that an example is coming. For instance, for example, such as, and including. A reader should pay attention to these words as a clue that an example is forthcoming. Let's look at this example. Some authors use pseudonyms. For example, Famous American author Mark Twain's real name was Samuel Clemens. From the example, the reader can conclude that a pseudonym is a pen or false name. With an antonym clue, readers understand the unknown word because it is contrasted with another word in the sentence. An antonym is a word that means the opposite of another word. For instance, the antonym of skinny would be fat, or the antonym of cold would be hot. Signal words for antonyms include but, in contrast, however, instead of, unlike, yet, no, and on the other hand. Let's examine an example. Suzanne's tone was surprisingly flippant in contrast to her usual respectful manner. The signal words in contrast clue the reader that the antonym is respectful. The reader understands that they are looking for the opposite of respectful. Therefore, flippant means disrespectful or sassy. With a definition context clue, Readers use the definitions in the sentence to understand an unknown word. By eliminating this roadblock, an author ensures a reader can delve more deeply into a text. An example for this one type of context clue is more historical in nature. Spanish noblemen lived in encomiendas, estates given to Spaniards in the New World beginning in 1503. The author recognized readers may stumble over the word encomiendas, therefore he or she provided the definition. Often an author will place a synonym near a new or difficult word as a context clue. 
Usually, a synonym is set off with a pair of commas, a pair of dashes, or a pair of parentheses. Example signal words for synonym context clues include or, in other words, that is, also known as, and sometimes called. Let's look at the example. Although fruit is beneficial to your body, it can stop being helpful if you eat too much. The author uses the synonym helpful to let the reader know what the word beneficial means. The reader then understands that eating too much fruit is not beneficial or helpful to the body. Remember, a good reader leads the way by using context clues. They use logic, examples, antonyms, definitions, and synonyms to tackle unknown words. Now that you have finished learning about context clues, please return to the module and complete the Let's Practice activity.